one of the best things Ghana has done for themselves is investing in quality education, like quality standard of education. If Liberian Minister of Education can fly all the way from Liberia to Ghana because she wants to learn, she wants to know how Ghana and Ghanaians have been unbeatable when it comes to education and you know maintaining that quality of education who is lamborghini minister that is dino malaye who is here to talk down on ghana and ghanaians i believe by now he must have hid his face in shame i'm going to show you guys this video of boise senior stem senior high school girl that has been trending all social media these guys have finally gotten international recognition this is not their first time ghana education is on the map ghana education is breaking boundaries ghana education is proving that ghana is indeed the future of africa this one of the things they said is the reasons why they decided to invest more on stem education they even went as far as producing solar i mean solar kidney dialysis machine or more this one choke this one loud i'll let me not just bore you guys let me quickly run this video through so you guys will see what is currently trending all over social media indeed ghana has gone global watch guys once again a boy senior technical high school retains the title the climax of the three-day science technology innovation challenge at the national theater saw exhibits from different schools including basic school students showcasing scientific solutions to real-time ghanian problems this included the building of a prototype solar-powered dialysis machine from obwasi senior high technical school we heard of the dialysis treatment situation in Kolebu Hospital, and then we got to know how dialysis treatment is very costly in our country. So we decided to create an, um, an affordable dialysis solution using locally sourced materials so that the cost of production will come down. The innovation challenge taxed each participating school with a rigorous nine-hour deadline to design groundbreaking solutions to pressing agricultural challenges. From our inspiring science and technology projects emerged one clear winner, Obwasi Senior High Technical School. Their revolutionary Osikini Farm solution a solar-powered agri system stood out for its ingenuity, practicality, and potential to transform small-scale farming, earning them the top spot yet again. Congratulations, guys. Thank you so much. How are you feeling like? We are feeling very excited and proud. What influenced the decision to come up with OC Kenny Farms? Well, um, looking at System Ghana here, most farmers um, complain about weeding. Some also complain about the effect they get from using the chemicals and also the transportation fare from transporting their crops from their farmland to their various homes. So we're like, why not develop a device that can solve all these problems? And we developed the CKD farm solution, which can do all these things, including detecting the weather of the weather. Sorry, detecting the weather of the farmland. Our Lady of Grace SHS secured second place, earning 15,000 cities, while the Ghana National College came in third and earned a prize of 10,000 Ghana cities. Managing Director of Prime Time, Nanakuya Mensabunsu, emphasized the challenge is to inspire students to come up with local solutions to Ghanaian problems. Technology drives everything. Technology drives everything in this world. And you cannot develop unless you can localize the technology to, so to sort out or to resolve problems, local problems that you have. And she also called for support to commercialize these innovations turning student ideas into impactful solutions. We definitely need support. We definitely need support. Our, our side is to unearth the talents and showcase them to the world. But we are not specialists in patenting or in engineering. So we do need collaboration from other quarters to be able to take it to the next step. It's the fact that these guys have actually brought out the competitive spirit in them. I'm going to show you guys another video that has been trending currently on social media where we have so many Ghanaian schools like these guys trending for the right reason. I believe and I just hope that Nigerians will do better when it comes to education. Education is life. And these guys, being the fact that they're creating a lot of things for themselves, they're like they're producing these things locally. It is paving way and putting Ghana on the map. Before I continue, let me put it out there. These schools are free. These schools are standard. I even saw a comment on one of my videos when someone said that these guys are being fed three square meals for free. Ha! Or more, this one choco, this one loud. This is indeed the next level. Watch, guys. The competition held to showcase and encourage the use of STEM in solving societal challenges. So Obwasi Senior High Technical School claimed victory by a narrow margin of two points over their closest rival, Dabupa Senior Technical School. It's a dream country. We watched several documentaries and we saw that it's a very major problem. Then we went to search the data about the dialysis treatment per square kilometers in Ghana and we realized that it was in decimal, so it was really low then. We realized that it's a very good project to work on. 
So um, this project was actually um, there. Like the idea was there for about two years, even before we came to senior high. But you see, every when you identify every pro problem, the question you ask is how, and then how actually the how to this law. So like after we finally came up together to create this law, and then we started building, and then it was not easy because you see it's for human beings, so it has to undergo several series of testing. So like it took a very long time, and we were facing challenges with oxygen sensor inconsistency. There was no response time to parameter fluctuations. For their win, the Wasi team received the cash prize of 50,000 Ghana cities, two laptops and additional awards. The competition was starkly contested with Dabopa Senior Technical School and in praises for their own initiative, Gen Z Pass System, aimed at solving the power generation issues but ultimately becoming second. Yasantua girls placed third and the Presbyterian Boys Senior High School took fourth place. Oh, I'm very happy because actually this is the first time northern region has been hyped to this level i'm happy the northerners are recognized this time around in stem innovation back at home whenever there's a power outage you cannot even move on the streets because the street lights are not working and the traffic lights are not also working so that's where we got our idea from and that's where why we started building our project to solve all this problem the e-gen version one this is an energy generation system which combines vertical turbines and solar photovoltaic systems to generate energy for their users Wow, I want them to recognize that there is something back at Northern Region that is going to imp uh, uh, develop Ghana. Finally, we've received about $40 million to support small businesses that are bringing about innovation. So what we are doing, we're linking up companies with Double Pi in these high schools. Then they get a grant fund provided by the World Bank to go and commercialize the innovations that have been created by the school. These schools receive cash prize ranging from 50,000 to 10,000 Ghana cities to further support the development of their initiative projects. We presented on um, environmental sustainability. That was the smart thing. And then digital technology, whereby we create an app that solves STEM related issues. Okay, it was very difficult because we are not a STEM or a technical school, we are just SHS school and mind you we are just girls trying to fall into the field of STEM. So it was very difficult to bring out either though we were having the passion but how to bring about everything was very difficult. Watching these last speakers speak, these talented super brilliant girls talk about the fact that you know, it is not easy for them, but then they kept striving. This is the reason why I told you guys that I love the competitive spirit in, as an inculcated in the lives of these young Ghanaians. You wouldn't tell me that whether government exists or not, that these guys will go hungry. If someone can manufacture, I mean, solar dialysis, we're not talking about normal dialysis, which costs billions, trillions of cash. If these guys can manufacture solar dialysis, if these guys can manufacture a lot of agricultural tools, so many things, so many innovations. Why do you think whether government likes it or not, whether these guys will go hungry? There's no way, there is no way these guys will not survive. No matter whatever thing, the situation or the, you know, the, the environment or the world throws at them, they will definitely grab it and turn it to gold. I love the fact that Ghanaians are quite intentional when it comes to education. The reason why I keep hammering this thing is that this is one of the privilege we in Nigeria do not enjoy. When I make videos and I, hear, and I get comments like these things are free educations, these things are, you know, the conducive learning over 80 schools got commissioned in a day in ghana show me any african country that has ever experienced such a thing be it anywhere drop it in the comment it can only happen in ghana and it's because the government of ghana has actually seen the importance of education i understand the fact that there are so many schools in so many countries but are they standard enough are they competitive are they getting international recognition just the way Ghanaians have been doing if you're a Ghanaian and if you watch up on tonight keep dropping like flags in the comment section Obuasi schools have been making ghana proud and you could see the joy the happiness hovering all over these children's faces where they are confessing that they are proud of themselves. They love the fact that they, you know, they are bringing development to Ghana. Have you guys seen? Have you guys seen what in return, what the good standard of education is doing in return? Because when people think, a lot of Nigerians feel like, the Nigerian government most times feels like, allegedly feels like there was the need to invest in good education. 
But have you seen the needs and the result this thing is bringing back to Ghana? Because it's more like garbage in, garbage out. Whatever thing you give to these children, that's what they're going to give to you. I am super proud of Obuasi girls. I'm super proud of these guys winning cash. We're not talking about the cash prize and all that. We're talking about the fact that they are putting Ghana on the map where Ghanaians truly belongs. Or um, this one, Choco. I believe by now our Lamborghini minister, Dino Malaye, would definitely change his narratives for him to compare Ghana to Nigeria, calling Ghana Camry. Or um, I go hop into that Camry and dish that Lamborghini because Omo um, Camry, they carry me. It's not so Camry B. Camry. Give me camera, I beg. Who can Lamborghini help? I would like to know what you guys think in the comments. <laughs> I'd like to know what you guys think in the comments. In the meantime, this is your first time coming across me. My name is Uju. You're highly welcome to Uncut with Uju. Please, I would like to have you here. So smash the subscribe button to be part of this great community. Smash it. Also, smash my join button to join my channel membership with just a token. And I will see you guys soon in my next videos. Stay happy, be kind, and be blessed. Bye, guys.